All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to make the uh, pigs in a blanket, which start off with beer biscuits. And this is what you're going to need to do it. All right, you're going to need a bottle of brewski, you're going to need some shortening. Chris goes what I'm using here. You can use either sugar, I prefer honey, baking powder, a little bit of salt, and I'll show you how to put this stuff together. You will need a mixing cup or two. First thing we do is we start off with four, count them, four cups of flour, which I've got right here. Okay, now what we're going to do with this is we're going to take measure one half cup, one of these bad boys, of the vegetable shortening. I'll show you what to do with that next. What I normally just do is pack this thing as full as I can get it. And then dust it off the top. Now this is actually a double batch because I want to and I have the pigs in the blanket, but I also want to make my um, beer biscuits. So you can either do this thing, you know, as what I'm showing you here, or just cut it in half if you want a smaller batch. All right, once you get it filled, just scoop it out, and then, then we'll let the fun begin, because next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a fork, which I'll have to get from the drawer. Take a simple fork, and you're just going to cut this into cut this into the shortening, I mean into the flour. When it's done, it'll kind of look like crumb cake. You want to make sure you get that in there really good. Because that's the secret to biscuits, believe it or not. It's practically the only reason I keep um, vegetable shortening on hand is for pie crusts and this. Can't make it without it. All right, okay, once you have the shortening cut into the flour, then the next thing we're gonna do is add some of the other ingredients. For that, you'll need to measure out three tablespoons. One, two, three of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. And give that a nice little turn there. Then I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Same thing, give it a little turn. Then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of flour. And then for the moment you've all been waiting for, and I've measured out one cup of beer, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to use it all, because you don't want it to be too wet, you don't want it to be too dry. So what I start doing is just drizzle a little in and mixing, because you'll know when it's right, it'll start to turn into a dough. But again, you don't want to make it too wet or you'll ruin it. You may not need the whole cup. See, it's already starting to clump together, and that's what you're looking for. Eventually, you're going to get your hands in there, and then we're going to roll it out on the board. Because this part of the process is actually not all that difficult, but it's, 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 you know, precise. It's not like the normal thing where I'm like, hey, you can do whatever you want. With this, you really need to be careful about your, the amounts of your ingredients, or you won't get biscuits, you'll get crap. We want to make sludge here, guys. We're trying to make nice, flaky biscuits. And I'm already to the point now where I'm going to stop pouring beer. I'm going to take a little bit of extra flour, put it on my hands, start working it. Because again, what you're trying to do is form this thing into a big, basically a biscuit ball. And then we're going to take the biscuit ball out, we're going to put it out on the board, and we're going to roll it out, and then I'm going to show you what to do with it next. But you got to make the biscuit ball first. And again, right now it's still just a little dry around the edges. We're almost there. We're pretty close to, we probably used about two-thirds of it right now, maybe even three-quarters. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Again, don't over-wet it it will not come out the way you want it to come out. And then just keep working it around. Because again, we're trying to form a ball of dough. And the trick is to work it out from underneath, particularly when you're working a double batch like I am. Because like I said, if I'm going to make these, I might as well make enough so we can not only have our pigs in a blanket, but also have a nice little shot at some biscuits too, because they're, they're both wonderful. Okay. Looks like we might just use all that up. We'll see. But again, a little at a time, a little at a time. 
You know, this is not like when you're making your brumpets. You're not making a, a batter. And we're getting there. Keep working it, guys. Keep working it. This is definitely a tactile sensation. You have to understand how it's supposed to feel and how dry you want it and how wet you want it. Starting to get there, starting to clump, as you can see. But we want to make sure we get it all. And I got just a few more drops of beer in there, so about, but before I'm all said and done, you never know, I might end up with it. But again, I'd rather have too, a little bit too dry than a little bit too wet. I'm going to give it just one little more shot. Which isn't quite all I got. I still got a couple of drops in there, which we may need, but again, I'll call it in when I need it, call in the reinforcements. Right now, I'm starting to get dough. Okay, a little bit down around the edges there. Believe it or not, I've just about used up my cup of beer. All right, and it's now forming into a biscuit ball. There you go, guys, the biscuit ball. The perfect complement for football. All right, almost there, okay. Once you get your biscuit ball, what you wanna do is clear off the board. You need some space. So what I'm gonna do is put the bowl over here. I'm gonna lightly dust this with flour. Again, you know, we're just trying to keep it from sticking. Okay. And then we're gonna take, take the biscuit ball out. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it out now. So we take our rolling pin, because you wanna roll this out till it's about, uh, I'd say half an inch tall. And again, you want to roll both ways because the trick is to make a sheet of biscuits. Because then what you're going to do is we're going to cut the biscuits up. We're going to put them on our cookie sheet. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Get to a certain point. I like to reposition it a bit. Work the edges here because, again, I'm trying to get a nice sheet. And you won't waste any because I'll show you what to do with the leftovers. Okay. Just keep rolling, keep rolling it out, there you go. And you don't want to make it too thin, you don't want to make it too thick. We'll, I'll show you what to do a little later on. We're getting ready to do the uh, pigs in a blanket because those you're going to want to thin out even more. But what I try to do is make a nice sheet of this stuff, about a half inch thick, which is about where we are right now. Okay. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to take Mr. Cup over here. If you have a biscuit cutter, that's fine. If you don't, you know, a glass will work. And just start, you go around the edge and you cut yourself out a biscuit. And you put it on a lightly greased sheet, which is what I'm doing there. Another one. I'll save a little so we can make our pigs in a blanket, but I should be able to get at least a half a dozen biscuits with this too, which is what I'm going to do right here. Take one more. Okay, there you go. Those are our biscuits. Then that's the beauty of this. So you take all the leftovers here. In fact, I think I can do, let me do one more. Perfect. All right. Then I'm going to take the rest of this. I'm going to make it back into the clump here because I'm going to roll it out some more. Only this time, I'm going to roll it even thinner. Why? You'll see in a minute. Bear with me. Making biscuits is not all that difficult. So, you know, why go buy stuff that's in the refrigerated section in the store when you can make them. Believe me, you're going to like these a whole lot more than the ones that are store-bought. Anyway, if we'll notice now, I'm laying out a sheet. I'm laying out these things very thinly now because, again, what we want to be able to do is wrap our hot dogs. In my case, I'm using all beef. Uh, you know, you can 
wrap andouille sausage, brats, whatever you happen to want or what, they, what happens to look good at the, in the refrigerator section of the, of the store, in the meat department. All right. Okay, see now we got these things nice and thin. And then what you're going to want to do, you're going to take these and we're going to make six sheets. even because the trick is you want to get good coverage on your dogs okay there we go okay. and what I've done is I've actually pre-cooked them because again you're only going to put them in the oven for all of about 10 minutes just to get the biscuits to fire up okay cut that one in half okay I'm even going to flatten that out a wee bit more You take a dog, you take your dough, you roll it up. There you go. That's one. Well, we put them seam side down. And actually, I'll just put them right on the cookie sheet. And if it starts to stick, put a little bit of flour on it. Number two, there you go, face down. There you go. Number three, roll it up, pop it in the pan. Make sure you give them a little bit of separation. They don't need a ton, but again, these are going to poof up a bit. Ready to go, boys. I'm going to pop this in the oven for 10 minutes. How's that for a football feast? See you next time on Man Cave Munchies.